Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to turn a video into a painting. There are a lot of Photoshop tutorials and Adobe Illustrator tutorials, even I've made some, that show you how to turn an image into a painting. What if you can now turn a video into a painting? Yes, you can. Let me show you here. When I hit the play button on this, you're gonna see this lady walking through what looks to be a Picasso painting. And if you look carefully at the painting, you're gonna see the eyes and all the strange things that Picasso was known for. Well, let's look at the original video and you're gonna see how amazing this is. Here's the original video. It's a lady walking through a field. That's it. That video got turned into this Picasso painting. Let me show you how to do it. And it's not just Picasso. It's Picasso, Van Gogh, Monet, Cezanne, Pollock, uh, Kandinsky. They're, all these artists are in here and more are coming. Okay, let's go from scratch. First step, we're going to go here. We're going to go to runwayml.com. Right here, I'll put a link in the description below. If you don't have, a, have an account, just click on sign up. It is free. And if you do have an account, click on login. Once you're logged in, you're going to see this screen here. On the left side is where you would normally expect to work, but we're actually working in the laboratory. That's right, we're going to the machine learning laboratory. Now you get to click on the icon here. And when you do that, underneath update plan, you're going to see ML Lab. This is where all the fancy stuff is. Click on that, and you're going to open up this screen here. When you get this far, you now want to click on stylization. And real quick scan will show you Monet, Picasso, Van Gogh, anime filter. I did a video on anime. That's really, really good too, by the way. Uh, check it out. It's right before this one. Um, Kandinsky, Pollock, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to go ahead and click on, I don't know, what do you want to do? You want to do Monet or do you want to do Van Gogh? Actually, you know what? I think I want to do Van Gogh. Yeah, let's do Van Gogh. Okay, so I clicked on Van Gogh and you're going to see this here. The next step is you want to click on export images and videos. When you do that, you're going to get this screen and it allows you to drag and drop your video that you want to convert. I'm going to click on the finder here and I'm going to grab, I don't know, let's see, where do I have it in my movie section? I'm going to grab a really dull video. I'm going to drop it right here. And the reason why I'm picking this really dull, boring, uncolor corrected, overcast, yucky video is because I want to show you just how good this tool is. If it could take a poorly shot video like this and turn it into a painting, it's impressive in my opinion. So there we go. We dragged and dropped it in. Now make sure that image is switched over to video. And now this will automatically select the frame size, the format. This is all good. You can turn the audio on or off. It's going to tell me that this is only a three second video because longer videos take a long time to process and then you can even estimate the cost I'm just gonna use the 50 cent it's 50 cents for this video uh, normally I would create a much longer video and it would still only cost like 50 cents but I just want to show you the technique I don't really care about the 50 cents so the next step is I'm going to hit export video and when it's done I'm gonna come back and show you what we got all right everybody so this is the video that you get it's not great but it's not too bad you click on it you get that Van Goghy look but if we go back into my finder, let me just show you a few other examples. I've got, of course, the Picasso one that did an amazing job. But you've also got this one here. This is kind of like Cezanne. You can get the Monet type style. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is a different type of style. Just this type of thing. You can even get this one here, which is a anime type style if you really want to go for it. Uh, but all in all, you can create art out of video now. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.